Okay, um, and welcome to uh, another one of my little video uh, clips on painting and some of the figures I'm putting together for this Talavera um, 208 project. And I'm conscious that I've been producing uh, Spanish infantry since the Africa Regiment in my last um, posting. Uh, I haven't had time to do some video presentations on the Spanish, so I thought um, you might be interested in looking at some of the uh, ideas I've had about producing these units. Um, so, this is looking at the Rainer Regiment, um, or Queen's Regiment, I guess, in English. Uh, the second, second Regiment seniority of the Line Infantry in Spanish Bourbon Infantry of around the 1808-1809 period. Um, and the, the Talavera campaign, I guess, is interesting with the Spanish because we're starting to get to the end of, a, of the, the, the recognised Bourbon look that started the war in 1808. Um, Spain has been torn apart by the French invasions. Uniform supplies, uh, re-equipping the armies after they, they have been um, you know, beaten in several major battles has become problematic as French imperial forces have moved into Spain. And um, they're having to source uh, equipment, supplies and material, um, principally from the British, um, to, to resupply these forces. So I guess the Talavera campaign is really interesting because you're still seeing the Spanish, uh, or a lot of the Spanish forces in their original kit, albeit very degraded by the, uh, the months of heavy campaigning against uh, the, the French forces. So um, I try and show that with, the, with the, the models I'm producing here. I don't want them to look too um, on parade and hence I've gone for this sort of campaign appearance with brown uh, trousers and grey kit which I can, I can demonstrate. And I, I do that with, with most of my troops um, and, and models because I'm very keen on having them having looking looking rather more like they would have done in the field rather than the uh, some of the nice books uh, and the pictures that portray them as they would have done perhaps on parade or you know I mean it's probably questionable whether these guys have had as many plumes up as they they have but you know that's artistic license. So a um, little bit more about painting uh, Spanish infantry then. So as you can see here uh, we have. Bring that a bit closer. Let's get thumbs and fingers out of the way. Uh, Spanish line infantry in the classic white uniform of the Spanish Bourbon forces for their line infantry. Light infantry tended to be in the blue, as did the uh, Marines, which I featured in a in the first post. But the line infantry were in their whites. Um, and I guess like flesh or masses of flesh white can be a bit of a challenge to a lot of, uh, a lot of us war gamers um, and getting the shades in whites can be, can be an interesting idea um, I know a lot of people like to use washes and um, you know washes certainly have their place I prefer to try and use a, um, a three colour technique as you use and I do that equally with the whites as well. So for my Spanish infantry uh, to, to achieve the depth I do, I on top of the base coat of black, uh, in this case I've been using coat darn dark grey but you could easily use a Vallejo dark grey, it's just that I had this handy and it was easy to, to turn to so I used this as my base so all the white that you can see on these guys is, is under, underpinned with, a, with the dark grey um, so that is my first base coat the next coat I use is off-white from Vallejo now I heard uh, an in, or sorry, I read an interesting uh, discussion on a certain forum um, with various people saying they couldn't tell the difference between Vallejo off-white and my top coat which is I use their Vallejo white uh, well I can and <laughs> um, I think you might be able to just see there is a shade difference on the on the bottle there and it, it stands out quite noticeably particularly if you thin down the off-white with uh, more water 
to allow the base coat grey to show through in the creases and then applying the um, the top coat white more on a 50-50 water paint mix gives you a much more solid um, white colour which hopefully um, you can see on that officer's tunic with the degradations of uh, going down into the grey within the armpit region etc. So you, uh, I find it really good and also around the creases around the groins of the um, uh, the breeches uh, and around the waistcoat and sword belt. Uh, I really like it. I just think it, it really, uh, it, it, I think it gives a nicer, um, softer tonal graduation than washes. Um, it's personal choice at the end of the day, but that's how I tend to do it. It does take a little bit more time, but hey, I'm going to be standing or sitting looking at these guys on the table probably for the next five, ten years, and uh, you know. For a little bit of extra investment in time, um, I can probably enjoy looking at them <laughs> for longer. Um, the other thing I put in here is I use a lot of Vallejo, and as you've noticed, they're coat darn paints um, in my selections. But there are other ranges out there, and some of them have got some really nice colours. And um, I try and support my local store, and Citadel seems to be uh, a readily available range out on the high street. Um, they can be a little bit expensive if you don't get them in the right place but there are some nice colours out there and obviously now I'm starting to look towards painting ancients uh, and, and developing an ancient palette of uh, colours that's uh, led me to look at other ranges and these colours came up really nicely for the um, for the facings for the Rainer Regiment Citadel uh, Guinness Steeler Purple I don't know where they get these names from and uh, Zerius Purple were the mainstay of that and then highlighting with um, Guinness Stainer mixed in with a bit of uh, off-white to just bring it up a little bit more. So um, yeah, the books behind there uh, I've just put up there to illustrate the kind of uh, transitions and Spanish uniforms that you're going to see over the period, certainly from 18, 1809 to 1811 um, and you can see there there's a Spanish light infantryman in light blue centre stage there featuring the, the, the transition of some of the units to a more British uh, appearance but I really like the Bourbon style uniform which uh, obviously is well illustrated in the uh, uh, Embleton Windrow book um, of that classic uh, bicorn appearance um, so it's, it's, it's a very very interesting army to, to work on there is loads of material on the net for those interested in putting these forces together uh, I really haven't invested in a lot of new books on um, the Spanish army but there are some really good ones out there now from um, uh, which have just come out recently I'm trying to remember the publications on that but I know if you look around there are new stuff coming out on, on the Spanish Spanish are very much in vogue and people are interested in doing these forces so there we are um, that's my uh, Rainer Regiment and um, next up will be the uh, Morthia, or I suppose in English, Mercia uh, battalions, two battalions of those. Then we're on to the um, Provincial Militia Regiment, and that will be Bascor's division finished. Okay, I hope that's helpful, and um, please, if you want to know more info, drop me a note on the either on the, uh, the YouTube channel or um, uh, on the JJ's War Games blog, and um, I'll try and answer your questions. Okay, thanks. Cheerio now.